The most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this. The final itself. Who will prevail? It's Atletico Madrid. They take on Inter next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It's Atletico Madrid up against Inter. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Koke starts alongside Marcos Llorente in the centre of the park. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Morata. A pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. And he's fired over the corner. Danger still on. Yes, man. Shielding the ball superbly. And possession given away. To Ham. The ball with Martinez. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. And a good take under duress there. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Federico Di Marco and they keep working away looking for passing lanes Alessandro Bastoni onto Turan They're racing away here and couldn't find a teammate unfortunately and a throw in to come Marcos Llorente and Witzel with it Morata and players waiting in the centre Griezmann vital intervention out of play and an athletic throw in forthcoming now well Molina Morata, on to Koke, he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Dumfries, electing to cross into the centre, superbly read and executed. Morata, Decent position for Atletico to find themselves in. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Federico Di Marco. Using his strength to shield the ball. Alessandro Bastoni. Turan. 
Now he must favour the cross. Failure to keep the ball by Atletico. Barella. Dumfries. Can he make it count? Still a chance. And a very good challenge. Well, I have to say that was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. And more importantly, it stopped Inter from taking the lead. Now well, Molina. Savage now. Molina. Rodrigo de Paul. Savage. And fine use of the ball. Morata. On to Koke. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Martinez. And it's with Dumfries. And the pass not finding its target. Hermoso. Lino. Koke with it. Marcos Llorente. Could play it in. Into the advanced position. Now, who can he pick out? Opportunity here. Morata! And it has arrived, the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. again will Inter be able to articulate an appropriate response Chalanolu on the ball Bastoni De Frey Havard with it Chalanolu Mkhitaryan he read the situation defensively and did his job. There will be one minute added on at the end. Morata. It can be so difficult to play against a confident passing team when you're trailing. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Business then, a lot to like about Atletico's first half performance, but still plenty of work ahead of them. Now the cutback. It has to be! 
and you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Now sending it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Now to take it away. Dumfries. And it's with Dumfries. Alessandro Bastoni. Federico Di Marco. Varela has it. Turan. Henrik Nikitarian. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal and just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, that certainly changed the mood of Simeone. Somehow, he needs to sort things out here. So, underway again, following the goal that made things level. Rodrigo de Paul. Savage now. Marcos Llorente. Good technique displayed. And a corner for Atletico could come in handy as they try to jump ahead. Taken short. Looking for a teammate. Superb stop. Dumfries. Well, Atleti's build-up play has been excellent. Just look at those stats. But their finishing just hasn't matched their approach play. They need to take one of these chances fairly soon. 30 minutes to go then. Barella. It's with Chalanolo. Mikitarian. Now, what can Inter do from this position? Barella. Barella. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Samuel Lino. It's with Hermoso. Koke. Hermoso. Lino. Dumfries. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. De Paul. Now with Morata. Marcos Llorente. And they've given him too much space. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. 
Here's Mann. Now this could be productive. Just 15 minutes remaining. Can they create something from here? Not well, disappointing end to the move. De Paul. Koke with it. It's a regaining possession. De Frey. It's with Chalanolo. Federico Di Marco. Barella. The ball with Martinez. Mkhitaryan. This could be it. A goal. And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back deal, isn't it? While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Morasa. Options in the center. The inside route looking promising. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And really discomforted by the press. Morata could reduce the deficit. And struggling to get the shot off. It might be. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Martinez. And it's with Dumfries. Hermoso, Koke with it, Rodrigo de Paul, and there it is, full time, they are the Champions League winners. Well just look at the emotions out there, joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other, but we've got the right winners here, they fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives, and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. And now for the official trophy presentation. The Champions League trophy awaits. Well, just listen to the roar, and this trophy is held aloft. Magnificent moment here. You never quite know when moments like this are going to come around. The Champions League winners. And these celebrations are going to go on for hours and hours. And maybe into next week as well, Stuart. Well, they can afford to do it as well. They are the Champions League winners. They've been brilliant all season. And now they can go and celebrate with their fans. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. And it wouldn't be a big final without 
photograph time. Yeah, and these photographs will be cherished for years to come. Really top class scenes here.